Start spreading the news I'm leaving today I want to be a part of it New York, New York Trump moved to a Manhattan apartment, determined to drag his father's business into the big league. You came to Manhattan, you were like this pipsqueak. You said, I'm a developer, I'm a developer, give me your money, give me your trust. You had nothing to show for it, right? I had very little to show for it, other than I did a good job with my father in Brooklyn. And we did really, you know, I did a lot of good jobs out there. And so when I came into Manhattan, I felt confident. However good it looked from a distance, the Manhattan that Trump found in the early 70s was falling apart. Many of its businesses had declared bankruptcy. Among them, the Penn Central Rail Among them, the Penn Central Railroad Company. Ned Eichler was hired to raise money for its creditors by selling off its New York property portfolio. So the phone rang one day, and the secretary said to me, there's a man named Donald Trump on the phone, and I had never heard of him. And this sort of brash voice comes over the phone, and he said, when are you coming to New York so I can talk to you? Trump had big ideas. He said he wanted to develop one of the huge properties Eichler was disposing of. We took a walk in Central Park, and he pointed to all the buildings, and he said, I'm 29 years old. I'm going to be bigger than, than anybody in New York in five years. Trump's first target was a dilapidated hotel next to Grand Central Station. Der Scott, a young architect, found himself caught up in Trump's ambitions. The Commodore Hotel was a rundown really derelict building at one of the prime locations in New York City. It was absolutely the worst building possible. Donald saw an opportunity. Here was a young man who nobody had heard of telling people he was a developer. He didn't have a building to his name. And yet, by sheer force of will, he managed to persuade the bankers, lent him millions, and a major hotel chain to sign up to his promises. Trump gutted the inside of the building and clad the outside in a layer of reflective glass. He borrowed $120 million to transform the old Commodore into a new and defiantly modern Grand Hyatt Hotel. He already had lots to say about his achievements. The Art of the Deal was part autobiography, part self-help book, a kind of power of positive thinking for the 1980s. What do you think people are going to get out of it if they read it? People don't deal in multi-billion dollar buildings. I mean, no. what can someone at home on a $30,000... It's really a study of, of life, Kathleen. How to do it and how to, how to really make life. How to make life. How to make life. How to be with life and how to live with life. And the formula seemed to work. Trump's business went into overdrive with more buildings, a massive yacht, even a Trump airline. Life was very exciting. You really felt like you were in a movie. I mean, you could go into his office and he was talking to Frank Sinatra on the phone, and Frank Sinatra had called him. 